2 introduction to nanoscience and nanotechnology course lecture number 2a so in this lectures uh, we will have a discussions on the classifications of nanomaterials i'm dr pervez ahmed so let's proceed towards uh, today's lectures so uh, today's lectures as i mentioned earlier uh, it's about the classifications of nanomaterials so uh, the first thing that uh, comes to mind uh, whenever we heard about the classification of nanomaterial, I mean, uh, we think about the person that, uh, who was that person who first gave the idea for the classification of nanomaterial. So we remember that was Siegel's, uh, uh, it was Siegel who first uh, classified uh, nanomaterial according to their uh, dimensions. So according to Siegel's, uh, nanostructure material are classified as uh, zero dimensions uh, materials, uh, one dimension materials, two dimension materials, and uh, three dimensions nanomaterials. I mean, this is uh, according to Segal's, uh, who first uh, done the classifications of the nanomaterial uh, uh, in uh, all these categories. So now, uh, in the coming slide, we will have a short discussions on. Uh, what is a zero dimension material and what is uh, a 1D material, what is 2D material and what is a 3D material. So let's first uh, proceed towards uh, the zero dimensions uh, nanomaterial. So uh, just like you can see it, uh, all these are the type of zero dimension material. So what actually we mean by zero dimension materials? So uh, just like you can see it here, uh, I mean by zero dimension material, we mean that all those uh, materials uh, which lies, I mean all of its dimension lies, uh, I mean within the nanoscale range. So what do you mean in short? Uh, so here uh, we mean that it's the sorts of the materials whose all the dimensions that is uh, X, uh, Y and Z all lights at the nanoscale that is no dimension or greater than 100 nanometers so what kind of the materials uh, which are included in the uh, zero dimension material so a zero dimension material includes uh, nanosphere or uh, nano clusters it include uh, the quantum dots i mean uh, quantum dots we will explain in the coming lectures that what is mean by the quantum dot uh, it includes uh, fullerenes uh, for instance, we will, uh, I mean, maybe we have a separate lecture on the polarizes, uh, I mean, what uh, what are polarizes are and what are their application and how they are being met. So we have a separate lecture on these. So uh, polarizes that comes and uh, zero dimension materials. And of course, then we have nanoparticles. Uh, so nanoparticles, uh, the most well-known nanoparticles are uh, gold nanoparticles. It's also come with a uh, zero dimension material. So in short, uh, what uh, what are zero dimensions nanostructure or nanomaterial? So they are the nanostructures or they are the nanomaterial whose all the dimensions are smaller than 100 nanometers. That is in X, Y, Z in all dimensions they are under 100 nanometers. Then we have one dimension nanostructures. So uh, just like we introduced the zero dimension material, so here we can have the same sort of definitions for are the one dimensions uh, nanomaterial. I mean, here are the examples. So from these examples, you can easily clarify your concept. So what it means, uh, just uh, to have a formal definition, or formal introductions of the one dimension nanomaterials. So here we have two dimensions. I mean, if you make the material in three dimensions. So uh, here, the two dimensions, that is X and Y, are at the nanoscale and the other is outside the nanoscale. I mean, if we take a materials and a three dimensions, so for one dimension in nanomaterials, uh, we will have uh, two dimensions that lies within the scales of the nano, that is below 100 nanometer or smaller than 100 nanometers. And it will have a third dimensions that will be greater than the nanoscale range, that is above or greater than 100 nanometers. So what we have, uh, I mean, this definition, this lead to a needle-shaped nanomaterial. I mean, example of that is you can see it here. I mean, uh, the good example is uh, we can have nanotube, wire, rod, 
Uh, we can have metal nanorod, ceramic crystals. We can have carbon nanotubes, that is metallic nanotubes. And along with that, we can have gold nanowires or polymer, uh, polymeric nanofibers or self-assemble uh, structures. So all these lies uh, within uh, one-dimension nanostructure. So, uh, I mean, uh, let me clarify again that two-dimensional nanostructure are those nanostructures, uh, sorry, one-dimensional nanostructure are those nanostructures whose two dimensions are at the nanoscale and the other is, I mean, the third dimension is uh, outside the nanoscale. Uh, so this is uh, what we have for uh, one-dimension nanomaterials. Then we have two-dimensions nanomaterials. So what are two-dimensional nanomaterials? Again, proceeding in the same dimensions, I mean the same definition just like we did for uh, zero dimension, one dimension material. So here, uh, I mean for the two dimension nanomaterials, uh, we have one dimension uh, that let's suppose we say X, uh, it lies at the nanoscale and the other two dimensions are outside the nanoscale. I mean again, if we consider three dimension of the material, so for the two dimension material, uh, one dimensions that we note by uh, that we denoted by X is at the nano scale and the other two uh, dimensions that are X and Y uh, they're lying outside the nano scale. So uh, 2D nano material exhibit uh, plate like shapes. I mean these kind of the material they have plate like structure or plate like shapes and it includes uh, nanofilms and include nanoclays and uh, nano coating with a nanometric, uh, nanometer thickness. So here you can see that, uh, uh, I mean, these all are the examples of the two dimension nanomaterials. So three dimension nanomaterials not only include thin film plate layer structures, it include carbon coated nanoplayers, it include uh, graphene shape, graphene shapes particularly, I uh, mean, uh, uh, known as 2D nanomaterial, two dimension nanostructures. Uh, these are the well-known among all the other existed 2D uh, nanomaterial. Similarly, it also include layered uh, nanomaterial like hexagonal boron nitride nanostructure or hexagonal uh, boron nitride nanosheet. So uh, these are all uh, 2D uh, or two-dimension uh, nanomaterials. Uh, then we have uh, three dimensions or 3D nanomaterial. So just like you can see it here. All these are the examples of the uh, 3D or three-dimension nanomaterial. Uh, so what we have, um, uh, I mean, some formal definition for the 3D or three-dimension nanomaterial. So we remember these are the nanomaterials uh, that are not confined to the nanoscale in any dimensions. I mean, again, if we put uh, three dimensions, uh, if we have three dimension and we put these material. So none of their dimensions, their smaller are lying within 100 nanometer. So uh, if, if none of their dimension lying within 100 nanometer, so what actually we have for these material? So uh, these are basically the material which have three or battery dimensions uh, and they are above, all of these dimensions that are above 100 nanometer. So uh, they're basically the bulk nanomaterial uh, which are being composed of multiple arrangement of nano size crystals and different orientations. I mean, as a whole, these material as a whole, their dimensions, uh, they are greater than 100 nanometer. I mean, none of their dimension, uh, whether if it's X, Y, or Z, none of these are their dimension lying uh, within 100 nanometers. Uh, but be remember their constituent, I mean, from the material from which they are being made, they are basically uh, nanoscales. I mean, these are basically the bulk material, but they are being made or their constituents are uh, the nanoscales uh, material. I mean, the, their, their constituent can be nanoparticle, that can be nanotube, it can be uh, nanofiber. I mean, the 3D materials are, uh, we can say that the three dimension uh, nanomaterial, they are basically the bulk material, but their constituents are their building block or nano size uh, materials. And we remember uh, these kind of the nano structure uh, that we call 3D materials or 3D uh, nano structure. It include uh, uh, dispersions of the nano particles. Uh, 
It includes bundle of nano parts and nano tube as well as uh, multi nano layers uh, that we call uh, polycrystal and which the uh, and which we have zero dimension one dimensional 2d structure element all are in close contact with each other and form interfaces and here's uh, you can see as examples we have bulk nanomaterials as a polycrystals uh, we can have liposome uh, along with that we can have polycrystalline and we can have dendrimers so all of these there are the good example of uh, three dimension nanomaterial so in short uh, what we have for uh, 3d material 3d material basically the bulk materials uh, i mean none of their dimension they're lying within 100 nanometers but they are being made from the materials uh, which by itself uh, are nanomaterials i mean these are basically the bulk materials where the constituents or building blocks uh, uh, nanomaterials i mean their constituents or their building blocks are nano but these material by itself they are not nano so th this is the more formal definitions or more formal introduction of uh, three dimensions uh, material so in summary uh, if we uh, i mean just uh, in a form of uh, like you can say that here you can see and the graphical methods are in tabular form so nanomaterial just like you can see it here it's been classified as uh, zero dimensions uh, one dimension two dimension and three dimensions uh, material so here you can see that the first i mean the, the, the zero dimension material here you can see that the example of these are for instance quantum dots rings and atomic cluster then we have one dimension so one dimension there means the materials that include uh, nanotubes uh, fiber and filaments uh, vascular and bell uh, spiral and uh, springs uh, then the two dimensions and two dimensions normally include uh, nano desks and nano layers along with that uh, the graphene or get example of the two dimensions uh, nanomaterials then three dimension nanomaterials so three dimension nanomaterial the most popular of them are embedded cluster uh, uh, iguanid crystallides so these are uh, the example of three dimension nanomaterial so uh, that's all we have for the classifications of nanomaterial uh thanks for watching but stay tuned with the next lecture because next lectures uh, will be uh, lecture number uh two uh b uh but in that lectures uh, we will have a discussions on type of nanomaterial so stay tuned with that lectures till then bye bye